In this video, I want to talk to you about the benefits of maca root. Now, if you don't know, maca root is actually considered a cruciferous vegetable. So it belongs to the same class of vegetables as broccoli, cabbage, kale, spinach, asparagus, and many other non-starchy vegetables that we consider healthy vegetables. However, unlike its kin, its non-starchy kin, uh, maca root is actually a starchy root vegetable. Now, because of this, it has specific medicinal properties that um, broccoli and cabbage do not have. However, like other cruciferous vegetables, maca root is a very powerful um, food or superfood for eliminating excess estrogen in the body, which can have very positive um, benefits on your overall hormonal health, specifically related to weight gain, uh, thyroid issues, hair loss, um, the inability to burn fat or your metabolic function, your sex drive, libido, and your overall energy. So balancing your hormonal system and really starting at the root, um, looking at your ratio of testosterone to estrogen is a really great place to, to look to um, improve these areas of your life to achieve a more ideal weight or body mass index to improve your energy and especially improve your sexual energy which is essentially your life force so, in addition to this uh, very important benefit cruciferous vegetables and maca root are known anti-cancerous uh, vegetables or plants they contain compounds that help um, the body uh, inhibit tumor growth and cancer cell growth so these these two benefits alone make maca root worth taking. However, what makes maca root um, sort of a, a class above cabbage and broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables and why it's considered such a true superfood is because it's an adaptogenic uh, food or herb. And its adaptogenic qualities really help um, take its ability to tonify our hormonal system and our endocrine glands to a whole new level. And essentially what an adaptogen herb is, if you haven't watched one of these videos before and you don't know, is it's an herb or it's a food that contains compounds that help your nervous system adapt to stressful situations. So essentially your body no longer um, responds or reacts to situations um, as it did before in a more stressed out state. So in other words, um, your body views situations as less stressful than they actually are to a degree, um, not to the point where you're numb to situations, but just to the point where you're not stressing out and going into a state of fight or flight over your business bills, um, over traffic, over emotional upsets with your partners or friends, um, essentially become more calm in the face of stress. Now this is very important because stress as we know is perhaps 95%, I believe the statistics are, 95% the cause or primary cause of all disease. So really, so by preventing this uh, sort of stress response or this chronic stress response, we're gonna do a great deal in improving our overall health. And essentially, I'm sure somewhere along the lines you could trace back any sort of health imbalance or health benefit to an adaptogenic quality, to um, a stress response, to an imbalanced hormonal system, to weak adrenals. And essentially, this is prob probably one of the primary causes of every disease, as I said earlier. However, more specifically, I wanna get into a few of the probably top benefits of maca root and how these benefits I just mentioned, these adaptogenic qualities, these hormonal balancing qualities can improve your health directly. Now, one of the first things that comes to mind with maca and some of the studies that I've looked over is this um, positive effect on the female reproductive system. Um, three specific areas come to mind when I think of maca in terms of improving female reproductive health and hormonal health, and that's really eliminating negative PMS symptoms or negative symptoms of your menstrual cycle. And unlike um, what most people think today, your menstrual cycle is not supposed to really be painful. It is a time of cleansing and it's a time to sort of go in and rest and, and sort of recycle or detoxify old blood, old chi, and sort of re revitalize yourself. So it's a sort of monthly cleansing cycle that should really have more of a I'm not going to say a pleasant uh, experience, but it shouldn't really be a painful one um, to experience cramping, bloating, um, mood swings. These are all actually issues of an imbalanced menstrual cycle that can be traced back to your, your glandular system. It can be traced back to stagnant chi in your liver, um, improper hormone function or hormone production. And that's really gonna have a lot to do with your liver function and, and a lot to do with your uh, endocrine system as a whole, specifically your adrenal glands. So typically, um, women that experience uh, PMS symptoms are going to have either something going on with their liver or something going 
going on with their adrenal and thyroid. And maca as an adaptogen is really great for strengthening your overall endocrine system and making your body less stressed out biochemically. So that's really great. So it's going to help balance negative side effects of stress and weak adrenals, um, weak endocrine system. So it's going to have a positive effect on your, your menstrual cycle. And if you really build up these adrenals and make your adrenals much healthier and much more vibrant, then you're going to be more energized. You're not going to be as stressed. And typically you should see a great improvement in your PMS symptoms. And in addition to that, um, you could apply all these same things to menopause as well. Menopause shouldn't really be this like um, death of your sex drive or your hormonal health. It should definitely not be a, a decline in your overall energy. It's not to say your body won't shift. However, if you're experiencing very severe menopause symptoms, it's likely your hormonal system is a bit out of balance. That's not to say that your hormonal system won't change with age. However, it should happen much more gracefully and you can really prevent a lot of these drastic dips in your hormonal system by improving your adrenal glands, which maca can help do. And last but not least, I recall a specific study on polycystic ovarian syndrome, so basically developing cysts on your ovaries has a lot to do with imbalanced hormonal system. And you could probably trace all three of these issues back to estrogen dominance. So when you have too much estrogen in your body, even as a female, you can experience hormonal imbalance, um, weight gain, um, excess hair growth. Um, that's women too who are growing maybe mustaches or having too much body hair. They're not capable of losing weight. They have low energy, they're fatigued, they're experiencing, like I said, these other issues, issues of the reproductive system. These can be traced back to estrogen dominance and maca can help eliminate excess estrogen and rebalance your entire hormonal system. Now looking at the men's side of things, we find that as a uh, tonic that eliminates excess estrogen, you're gonna find an increase in your, probably your sex drive, your drive for life, um, it, and these are gonna really trace back to having uh, healthier levels of testosterone in your body. This could even translate to, you know, um, hair loss and then male pattern baldness could be traced back to estrogen dominance and low testosterone. And as I said earlier with women, just an overall increase in your energy and your drive for life and, and really a lot to do with your reproductive system and your sex drive, which has a lot to do with, you know, the balance between testosterone and estrogen. So these are going to be the primary you know, benefits of improving your hormonal system and your uh, ratio of testosterone to estrogen. However, it's going to have many other benefits as well. Um, some other ones that you could find would be you know, an improvement in your the, the quality of your sperm health if you're a male. So in increased production of sperm, motility, mobility of your sperm, and overall uh, an increased uh, health of your cell, uh, your sperm cell membrane. So you're gonna have healthier sperm, so higher levels of fertility in both men and women. You can find, like I said, an increase in your sex drive because of the increase of healthy testosterone uh, coursing through your blood in both, again, men and women. So to recap, really, you know, the, the major benefits of maca root and its ability to tonify your hormonal system is going to have a lot to do with your overall um, libido, your sex drive, your fertility level, levels, and your reproductive health. However, because of its adaptogenic qualities, um, it's going to really do a great deal for improving your mood and your energy. And that's what makes maca root so great. It's really great for overcoming adrenal fatigue. Um, and I say fatigue because when you are experiencing a lot of stress, what can happen is your adrenals are kind of on overdrive. So they're not yet fatigued, but they're producing too much cortisol and adrenaline. And if you're experiencing this, then it's likely you're experiencing more so anxiety because you're having a lot of this adrenaline and cortisol course through your veins, and that's gonna give you a lot of energy. And unless you're you know, putting it to use and actually you know, working out vigorously, you're trying to run away from death, and you're actually actively living out like a life or death situation, then that excess cortisol and adrenaline can produce a lot of anxiousness in your, your nervous system. So if you're experiencing more anxiety, um, it's likely that your adrenal glands are still functioning, however, they're overly producing these hormones, and it's likely that you need to you know, relax before your adrenals become fatigued. Something else that's interesting is that when you're producing too much of these you know, stress hormones, what can happen is your, your brain no longer uptakes serotonin and dopamine and you start to feel unhappy. So this is you know, correlated with the depression sort of that occurs with adrenal fatigue. So if you're feeling generally unhappy, it's likely that your adrenals are not working, you're not uptaking regular or healthy amounts of these feel-good endorphins. So by you know, taking adaptogenic herbs, using maca, and 
addition to like a low stress lifestyle, um, whatever cognitive therapy, exercise, yoga, meditation, then you're going to improve your adrenal health and improve your energy and your mood. Because when your adrenals are strong, you're energized, you're happy, you're motivated, and you feel good. So this is a great herb for doing that. Um, last but not least, um, maca is actually an antioxidant. So it's really great for helping the liver naturally produce SOD, which is superoxide dismutase, and glutathione, which are the two master antioxidants in your body. Essentially, any degenerative disease could be traced back to some form of oxidation in the body or inflammation. And taking maca root or any antioxidant herb or superfood is going to do a really great job of preventing this oxidative damage that can cause you know, damage to your cells and your DNA. So these are just a few of the major benefits of maca root. Um, hopefully that gave you a bit of detail on how specifically taking you know an herb like this can help you however to give you a general understanding the, the the take home is that this herb is going to have a few specific qualities it's going to help balance your hormonal system especially if you're estrogen dominant it's going to help improve your sex drive your libido your energy levels um, help enhance your adrenal function um, and work as an adaptogen herb that helps your body become more resilient in the face of stress so you're less stressed out and essentially you're healthier and then it's an antioxidant which helps like i said prevent any sort of oxidative damage that cause aging or degenerative diseases. So essentially you could see these benefits sort of your hormonal health, um, your uh, adrenal health, so your body's central nervous system and the antioxidant protection is sort of a really uh, a tonic to the entire body. It's going to benefit sort of every area of your body. However, the most noted benefits are usually correlated with improved energy, improved mood, improved sex drive. So if you're looking for something to just generally, you know, make you feel better throughout the day, sort of a, a natural energizing herb that won't work as a stimulant, something to replace your coffee, um, or something to just overcome stress or, or a period of, of sickness or illness, the maca root is something that I highly recommend taking. Like I said, it's really delicious, so you can easily consume it on a daily basis. Um, a last final Final tip on maca is that if you have thyroid imbalance, specifically if you have an overactive thyroid or an underactive thyroid especially, then you want to avoid consumption of raw maca because as a cruciferous vegetable it contains compounds known as goitrogens and these actually suppress thyroid function and inhibit iodine uptake. So if you have thyroid issues then um, avoid maybe consumption of maca or at the very least consume gelatinized or cooked maca so that way you're not in inhibiting anything um, going on with your thyroid and then causing a further imbalance later on. However, generally healthy people, even stressed out people, can really benefit from maca consumption. It's something that I benefit from, something I definitely noticed rather immediately, especially if it's a high quality maca. Um, right now, Vitagen is coming out with a 20 to 1 concentrate of maca, so keep your eyes out for that if you're looking for high quality maca um, where you can get the most bang for your buck, so to speak. Um, if you're interested in learning more about maca or any of our other herbs, then you can click the link below.